One of the ideas behind Bitcoin, probably the, the key idea, is that we have these uh, institutions set up that allow us to transfer value between people. Bitcoin is basically a, uh, it's a decentralized database and the point that basically keeps track of uh, how much money everyone has. And people are ultimately, they make mistakes, sometimes they can be coerced, sometimes they're just plain corrupt. The magic behind Bitcoin is the, this, uh, the Satoshi Nakamoto's consensus process. The idea behind Bitcoin is of course to uh, automate this as much as possible, to pl place what these people would normally be doing onto machines, which are incorruptible, and mathematics, similarly so. We send transactions to the network, and the system ensures that everyone sees that, it, that, the, that the exact same transactions have happened, so everyone always maintains sort of the exact same view of the whole thing. So with Ethereum, what we do is we say, well, let's take it a step further. Ethereum takes that same idea and uh, Basically, instead of, instead of just uh, embedding the logic for a currency, it just embeds a complete programming language. And rather than just being value transfer or currency, we'll take it to uh, general human interaction. So the idea is that you can use the same kind of, uh, kind of framework to build just about any other kind of application.